everyone and welcome to Crafty SB. I am here with our guest artist, Jody Luna. Hi, tell us Hi. a little bit about yourself. Well, I am a newly retired district instructional coach and now I am able to do my arts and crafts full time. I'm a mixed media and portrait artist, but I'm also an eclectic artist. I love all kinds of creativity. So I actually wrote a book called Refrain from the Identical, Insight and Inspiration for Creative Eclectics. So if you're one of those artistic souls who can't focus on one kind of art form, this book is for you. It'll make you feel really wonderful about yourself and give you some great strategies. You know, I actually read this book and I was <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I relate to this so much because uh, like you, I find myself loving all different types of art. So thank you. Um, and we will have the link for Jodi in the bio if you want to see her website or order her book. Um, and what are we doing today, Jodi? Today we are doing salt dough sculpture. Salt dough sculpture is a wonderful crafting hobby that you can do. You can do it for many occasions. This is an example of a centerpiece salt dough sculpture that I made, and you can put a candle in the middle of it. But today we are going to be doing a snowman, and I wanted to show you the little snowman, you can actually do these as ornaments, but you can also use them to accessorize your ornaments. That is so cute. All right, let's get started. So here are the supplies you're gonna need. You're gonna need flour. You're going to need a little bowl of water. You're gonna need some salt and a mixing bowl. First, put the flour in. It's going to be a two to one recipe. So two cups of flour to one cup of salt. You're going to mix it with your hand. I like to mix it with my hand because I like to make sure that all the salt is mixed in with the flour really well. Then you're going to add water. I like to add the water slowly to make sure that all of the mixture mixes well together. And then you're going to knead the dough. All right, I got my dough. Now what? Okay, once you have the dough the consistency that you want, you want something around the Play-Doh consistency, you're going to take a plastic bag, you're going to put it inside the bag, and you're going to seal it because it'll dry out if you don't. Yay! Next, take a little bit of the dough and put it in the water and squish it with your finger, and then mix it with a paintbrush. This is going to be the paste that will hold the different parts of the snowman together. I have my bag of salt dough. What's next? Okay, so you're going to take a little bit of lump of salt dough out, about that size. Smooth it. Wait, let me see yours. Your hands. Okay. And then you're going to wad up a little piece of foil. Is this just tin foil, like tin every foil. day? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have that in my house. Okay. Yes. And then stick it in the middle and cover it with the dough. It looks a little bit like a cookie. Yes, it does. <laughs> Don't eat this. <laughs> and then just keep rolling it till it's smooth. Hey. Oh wait, mine has a, okay. Keep on rolling till you get it smooth. She's an expert, I'm not an expert yet. <laughs> Wait, mine's not even a circle. It's like a triangle. Oh, well, that's an interesting snowman. Okay, it's all right. We like all different types of snowman. We're inclusive. All right, I got it. Okay, so we're going to set it down. And we're going to take another ball smaller size, because this is going to be the middle. So is the reason that we're keeping our dough in our bag, you said, so it doesn't dry out? So yes. should I be sealing this? Yes, you should be sealing. Okay. About the good. Same, right? Stick it in the middle. Stick it in the middle. And this... Foil will lighten the snowman so it's not so heavy. Oh, got it. And you should have a smaller ball. Okay. Now, one thing that no problem. we made our paste, so we're going to be taking our two snowmen and we're going to have to stick them together. So, we're going to put a little paste in the middle, and then we're going to stick our snowman on top. We can set it down. I think I'm gonna have a snow gal. A snow person. A snow person. It's working. It's working. And Take now it. we, the last is we need a little, a head. Wait, this isn't the head? No. Oh, but we don't need a tin foil for the head? Cause it's so small. No, it's small and we're gonna also be sticking a paper clip in there. And we need to be able to punch into the head. Got so. it. Kind of get up. Oh, my head's not big enough. We get a little bigger head. 
Like that's like a. That's not big enough. <laughs> and you know what? I like I like to lay mine down because it's easier to bake. Oh, we have to bake them. Okay. We're gonna bake them. So. All right. We're gonna figure these bodies out. We'll be back in a second. Jody's got hers. I'm gonna put a little bit of paste on my head of my snow non-binary person. Okay, so we now are, they're laying down because we have to bake them and that paste is gonna hold them together. Yes. So they're going in the fryer, but first. Comes the operation. The operation, here we go, okay. So we've got paper clips. Thank you. Oh, sorry, just kidding. It's okay. <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> Okay, and then we are going to take them like this, dip it in a little bit of paste, and then just go ahead and into the head of the snowman. Oh, I'm sorry. Poor little snow person. I'm sorry, snow there person. There we go. And that's what we'll glue in there, and you can. Cute. All right. Yeah. Now, our next phase is this is perfect i actually ended up having an orange toothpick so we're going to break it in half um break yours down a little more so it's not quite as long dip it in a little bit of the paste and we're going to give the snow person a nose there you go. oh my god stop it that's so cute and then you've got some branches oh yeah same thing. Dip Where did you paste. get these from? Like your yard? Um, you can get them from your yard, but you know, I actually bought a wreath at uh, Michael's, and I just took and broke some off of the little wreath. Cool. And I can tell that I have too long of an arm because it's not going in. So let's do that again. Stick it in. Oh, there's been another one. That. Okay. So basically, anytime you stick anything into your 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 sculpture, you want to put it in the paste. It'll mm -hmm. help it. There we go. Okay. And for buttons, we have some little cloves. So cloves for like cooking, right? Mm-hmm. Cloves for cooking. Mm. Smells really and good. probably need to take the ends off a little so they're not so long. And you can just stick them in. I'm sorry. Stabbing you. Yep. I How many see. buttons do you think? three or as many as you want but I think mine is a little bit too a little bit too long so we're gonna stick buttons into our little person I'm sorry for stabbing you there we go okay well I they're not evenly spaced out on that's mine but that's okay right. it's all right yeah so now we have a little buttons we have our twig arms, and we are ready to put them on our baking pan, flat, and we're gonna bake them. Set your oven on 170, place the snowman into the oven, and bake them. We're back. This is a snowman that I previously baked, so we're gonna show you how you can accessorize. Um, however, just a note on baking, it takes a long time, so I leave it in the oven maybe six hours or more and see if you press it if it's firm, and then you want to flip it on the back side to bake. Um, once you touch the back and it's hard, then it's finished. Uh, you can also just let it air dry, and if you let it air dry after a couple days, flip it over. You'll see some cracks here. Just patch them in with a little bit of dough. Sounds good. All right, let's accessorize our snow person. I like to use what's called a stylus. It's got a little ball on the end, a metal ball, but you could also use a toothpick and dab it in some black paint and then you're just gonna go one dot and two dots. And then for the mouth, a fine point sharpie marker. We're just gonna give him a little smile. And this little snowman didn't actually have a paper clip, but I could take this hat and paint it black and I can glue it right on his head. Where do you get that tiny little hat from? You can go to any arts and crafts stores, Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and you can buy little hats like that. So, so the great thing about this project is that you can um, style your snow person however you want. So Jody had a hat, 
Um, but I was even thinking you can take a piece of yarn and maybe make a scarf or, you know, anything that you, maybe some uh, bedazzles, yes. like uh, some little diamonds or something. So anything that you want to make your snow person festive. And here is a cute one that Jody did on this wreath. It's a teeny tiny little snow person. Right here. And one of the ways that I like to seal mine is just some spray varnish. You can actually just get at Michael's and spray it and then it'll keep it from um, breaking down over the years. But I've actually got a neighbor who I gave some salt dough sculptures to when I was 10 years old, 50 years ago, and she still has them today. So even if you don't spray them, they will endure. Perfect. Thank you so much, Shodi. It was such a pleasure having you. Uh, for more information on this amazing artist, go down to the bio and her website and her um, how-to videos and um, book information is all there. So thanks a lot. We'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. Happy crafting. <laughs>